Good evening once again, folks, and welcome back to the stream. Um, I was thinking I might do a little bit of Boot Hill Heroes tonight. Yeah, yeah, see if I can uh, work my way through the DLC for that and finally put that game to bed. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's see if I can load that up and get that working. Let us see. Um... Okay. Okay, there we go. And we're good. Now, as you'll recall, if you watch my previous Brutal Hero stream, I did finish the main game. So, the DLC seems, at least the, um, the hook for the DLC at the end of that seems to suggest if I poked around Kickstart Creek, um, some new things could happen, so. My best guess is I should probably go talk to the mayor. <clears throat> the crazy hat-loving mayor. Speaking of hats, let's, um... See if I... Yeah, let's see. <laughs> it's gonna take me a minute to remember how the controls work. Oh, I stole Monty Spades' hat after he got eaten by those lines. Okay, Doc. Ah, he hasn't learned anything, everything off of that yet. He hasn't learned anything off of that yet. So let's give him that. As for the lady, um... Moon. Okay, she still has that one advantage to learn from her headdress, but... Alright, cool. Anyway, let's go have a chat with the mayor. The psychotic hat-loving mayor. Ah, those are some fine hats you have there. No doubt they were fashioned by yours truly. But, you don't know who I am. Then allow me to hatchicate you. I am the mayor of this fine hatocracy. <laughs> that, that sounds somewhat menacing. That's right, I run this town. But more importantly, I make hats. You, you monster. Dude. Alright, you've caused enough trouble. If I see you in town again, I'm calling the marshal. Great hats! What a atrocious fellow. He almost gave me a heart attack. That was a former employee of mine, but we had a minor disagreement and he was fired. As you see, not everyone is happy with the hat mings in this town. Which is why I must keep my hat-making factory a secret from prying eyes. Now, if you will please excuse me, I must get back to my work. Are you deaf? I said make like a hat and leave. Yeah, okay. So that was the thing. He, he has a hidden hat factory. Um, he seems to be rather obsessed with hats. To, to a degree, I guess he seems like a more evil, hat-oriented Willy Wonka. So, just just a hat-oriented Willy Wonka, then, because Wonka is terrifying, let's be honest. <laughs> Anyone else tries to make hats, I'll blow them up! That's the way the mayor wants it. Howdy, mate. Welcome to Bold Over. Interests you in a finely crafted hat designed by our skillful town mayor himself? You won't find hats for sale anywhere else in Bronco County. And all he has is a headdress. I own one of those, thanks. So, I don't know, maybe I have to track down the dude who just got kicked out. Who apparently had the strength of ten men seeing so we toss Mayor Agar into the ceiling. Is there a bar in this town? Maybe he went there. 
Or maybe I'll run into the large man in the white suit. Ho ho! You there! Please, may I have a moment of your time? He's a big, big man. Looks a little bit like Colonel Sanders. Who are you? Hey, I know you. You're that fella who owns the railroad, right? Woohoo, yes. That is one of my business enterprises. Higgins Comfort at your service. Although I was hoping you would be at mine on this day. What can we do for you, Mr. Comfort? Recently, a wagon train entering Bronco County through Crazy Bone Pass was attacked and raided by Chipaquick Indians. One wagon contained a delivery of goods to arrive at my general store in Swellsville. I've heard you were a group that could get things done. And I wouldn't trust any law enforcement with my precious cargo. Sticky fingers, thick as sausages, you know? I was hoping to enlist your formidable services in locating the errant sundries. For a price, of course. You said Chipaquick Indians? I'm afraid so. He, he tells the girl wearing the headdress and very stereotypically looking like, yeah. How dreadful! Although I would not think of categorizing you among those savages, young miss. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. Oh no. It's already begun. I need to go to Crazy Bone Pass. I want to see what happened with my own eyes. Do we really have time for this? What do you think, kid? Eh, we don't have time. Let's just patiently wait for the sequel to this game to be released. <laughs> no, let's check it out. Oh yeah, I forgot how psychotic Kid is. It's like, you know, he can be told the most terrifying, horrible of news, and then he'll just put on that smirk and start chuckling. Because he's a lunatic. Well, if you do decide to visit the scene of the incursion, I would pay you handsomely for any crate of my store goods you are able to recover. Sell them back in my general store, my clerk will give you a fair percentage of what they are worth. How do we get to Crazy Bone Pass? Stagecoach driver in Swellsville takes passengers to and from the pass. Yes. Well, I hope you do look into it. Remember to deliver the goods to my man at the general store. Now, I must be off. Good luck to you. And then he stood slightly off camera and disappeared. I think I've already spoken to this guy. Random shell. <laughs> Okay, that's not the guy. I didn't think he was. Not the guy who, um, got kicked out. <laughs> the primal scream of the chicken. Well, whatever, let's hop the train to Swellsville. Can I hop the train to Swellsville? Or maybe I have to talk to a guy- no, I need to buy tickets first, don't I? Let us go to... I like how Ashwood is still on the list, but you can't get there. Let's go to Swellsville. I can't remember, do I just wait? Oh, there we go. No, I just need to stand in the exact right spot. All aboard the train to Swellsville! Toot toot!
Last stop, Swellsville. Please watch the step. <coughs> Starting a new life together in Swellsville. I'm just worried after what happened on Ashwood. I want to start a bakery and sell my special honey cakes. Indeed. I don't know where the stagecoach guy is. I think before doing that, though, there's something I want to see. I, I, I remembered before I started playing this is like the whole point of Kid coming here in the first place. The thing that sent him on this journey to hunt down dangerous criminals, despite the fact he's like a ten-year-old. Um... Turtle! That's one comical looking turtle. But yeah, the whole thing that sent him off on this journey in the first place... ...is he needed to gain some money so that his, um, mother's farm wouldn't have to be sold. No, I still can't even go up there. Alright. So let's go have a chat with his mother, see if the farm is still open. Oh wait, chicken. A pompous squawker is here trying to bully me. That and going back and running into rackets with really low level enemies might help me re-familiarize myself with the controls for the game. These dastardly critters don't like the cut of your jib. You tell me what a jib is and how to cut it. And... You should need to learn from that. Let's find out, shall we? No, she needs to learn acrobatics. I believe the family farm is down here. Home sweet home. Hey, Ma, look at the bunch of freaks I picked up on the road. Son, you're back. I've been worried sick. Where have you been, young man? Oh. Hmm. I get the feeling you're leaving out a few details. Seems you're old enough to take care of yourself now, and old enough to go hunt down the man that killed my father, I guess. And you made some new friends, I see. This is awkward for me to ask, but we're still getting bills from the bank. They're gonna foreclose on this farm soon if we don't pay them. Did you manage to earn any money while you were away? Oh, thank you! This is just what we need to keep those pesky bill collectors at bay. <laughs> I just got the, uh, <laughs> I just got an achievement called Almost Forgot. I can't wait to brag to all our neighbors what an amazing son I have. You look like you need to get going. I don't know what you're up to these days, and I think you want to spare your poor ma the details. Just promise me you'll try to stay safe. And visit more often, will you? <laughs> uh, that's okay, ma. I'm just, uh, you know, taking a break from... ...hunting a gang of dangerous outlaws and killers... ...to hunting a dangerous gang of, uh, stagecoach robbers. Which could very well kick off a civil war between the local native tribes and, you know, everyone else who settled here. But, you know, it's fine. It's, I'll, be, I'll be okay. It'll be fine.
cool. Let's go find this stagecoach that'll take me to Crazy Bone Pass, which is not either the most ominous or hilarious sounding name. Omlarious. It's an Omlarious name. But, you need a ride to Crazy Bone Pass. Sure, I can help you. Hop on! And there's a giant cat in my way as soon as I get here. These mountain critters are stirring up trouble for settlers passing through. Actually, maybe I should focus just on one thing. Crush doesn't kill it. <laughs> what does Blip Crack do? Oh, it actually gets all of it. Wow, that did not kill that. I completely forgot how hectic the uh, fights in this game can get. Because everything is happening all at the same time. It doesn't seem terribly bad right now, but something tells me I run into, say, a boss of some sort, it's gonna get a lot worse. So that thing seems, you know, fairly tough. And Rosie is in pretty rough shape, so yeah. This fight looks like it's nearly over, so hey. Clouds. Just paralyzed anyway. <laughs> this on spot. This awe-inspiring eagle. He doesn't look that big. Well, technically he looks massive, I guess, but you know what I mean. The cliff eagle uses early bird. Oh, that that seemed awful extreme. There's a barrage on that. Did, did I just see a chick run across there? Did it throw a chick at me? Is that what just happened? I've earned the eagle's respect. Nice. I only gained the respect of the local wildlife by beating it senseless. Gang of spitting geckos.
bounty. See if I can get an, an extra attack in on this. Okay, there we go. Although it's probably gonna die now before Doc gets a chance to attack it. Or maybe not. Watch on that one. Get my Luna Crush. And we found this guy. Oh yeah. Dude, that hurt. Heal by Salt Moon. Little kid now, Moon. <laughs> Apparently, I'm just earning the respect of everyone up here. Did, but it was interesting. Actually, Doc is too terrified to take action. How about that? Doesn't strike me as a man who would scare easy, but hey, I could be wrong. Well, oh, that's better. Oh, that big cat in the middle oh, is just surviving. That's all. Oh, Doc Sand. I, um, may have underestimated that thing. Meaning it needs to die, and it needs to die right now. Why is it not dead yet? It needs to be dead now. Of course she is. That's better. Medium mental damage, oh hello. I don't like this thing. So next time uh, next time I get into a fight with one of these cats, I'm gonna have to focus on it first. It screws things up too badly. At least Doc's back on his feet. He stays there, right?
I cannot ride my horse here, but there's a horse right there! Della rushing. Eek! Twas awful. Those Indians rode in and ransacked my wagon. They didn't take nothing, but they scared the living daylights out of me and my boy. Mom said that we start a new life in Bronco County. But we're getting off to a rocky start here, ain't we? You might want to put that fire out. Might be a bad idea. Ah, uh, and of course Doc is bleeding. That's great. Yes, indeed, a little chick just walked across my uh, character screen there. Interesting. Gain the better, I'm probably going to need them. Let's be real here. Okay, I think, uh, yeah. Kids still got some stuff to learn. I think Rosie's learned all she can from this. Though I don't think she has any other hat she can wear. She does not. Static seems like it's much better than jump though, so let's go for that. Bone Buster seems interesting, let's switch cold cock out with that. Is there another one? Bullseye. Oh, the gun attack with high accuracy. Blank. Very heavy damage. Highly accurate. User drops an active stats. Shrug off. Lost status elements. Right. <laughs> Lose money instead of hit points. So he's just tossing money at our enemies, tell asking them, please don't hurt me. It seems very against his character, but okay. a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> Sierra Lynx was confused! Dazed and confused. exactly what fracturing a bone does. Well, at least in terms of the game, anyway. In real life, it's not very pleasant. Maybe I should have to 
heal, Doc. He is essentially bleeding out right now. Okay, so if I hit a herd enough to kill it, it'll come back and hit me. That's what that does. This era Lynx was set on fire! <laughs> the Lynx hiss and reluctantly abandon their hunt, also because they're on fire. because I can't hit it while it's flying anyway. Only Doc and Moon can hit it right now. Aha, but now that's changed. Oh, nice, nice shot there, Moon. Like uh, the eagle is blasting off again. Okay, so am I supposed to come in here? Crap. <laughs> Looks like I'm just fighting this eagle again. Okay, then. I have not earned enough of its respect yet. It's amazing how a certain punch attack causes the thing to fall asleep. That's rather bizarre, but okay. I won't question it. Cave is where I necessarily need to be going just yet, but it's right here, so. Let's go see what's in here. Of course he's too afraid, Greg. I um, mean, should really give herself. I don't have to do that now. And get staggering, great. Doc is still too afraid to do anything.
crap, they're both counter. Right? Oh crap. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. thing to a stone. Perfect. Hey, store goods. Maybe it's a good thing I came in here after all. Surprise, Ambush Eagle! Kaka! a sleeping eagle. I'm sure there's no animal rights group that will have any problem with that whatsoever. Once again, I've earned the eagle's respect by burning it alive, as one does. Doc recover from bleeding. I'm assuming he's, like, stopping the blood flow with the eagle. He's just grabbed it and shoved it into, like, whatever is bleeding. Any means necessary. And Doc's paralyzed. Great. <laughs> now he's terrified. <laughs> Doc, uh, Doc is not getting any of the any of the walk, is he? Still too terrified to take an action. Just keep him pumping them. Crap, uh, Rosie's going down. Fix that.
Делай это. Делай это. Когда ты? Stolen goods. More eagles. Now all the eagles can't consider them out in this domain, because I mean, you know, rightful ownership has to go to one of them. Unless they have a set schedule of like when each one owns a specific part of them. I don't know. Okay, that thing is flying neither of them can Stuff line anymore though. And it's falling again. Sure. How dare you use your best natural defense bird and fly away from me? How dare you? You're supposed to stay down here and fight me like a bird. Wait, no, that that does not apply. Man, bird, thing? No. <laughs> and now we're just speaking gibberish. No oh, kids actually I understand. I might want to fix that. Even though he's going to be singular. Oh dear, now she's gone. <clears throat> that sucks. Well, we've lost the white mage. Of course, uh, Kid and Rosie had quite a lot of action points built up, didn't they? You guys shouldn't be standing so close to this burning wagon. All of a late. My business in the east means I have to go up and down Crazy Bone Pass frequently. It's such a pain. I wish we could get a train to go into Bronco County, but the only land where that'd be possible is where the Shpack would go. Homeward led better. Just my luck. I made it through the wilds of the west to come to Bronco County, and here, at the near end of my journey, I get jumped by a bunch of Indian fellas. Ah, another burning wagon. Obert heard. Them Indians ran them out wagon and made off with all my cargo. I was supposed to deliver it to the Comfort Nash General Store in Swellsville, but now I got nothing. Those savages went through all the crates and tossed them aside all over this mountain and inside the caves. Guess they didn't find whatever they was looking for. Oh, 
Well, nothing else again, enough experience earning the respect, I'm using air quotations here, from all these animals that the, hopefully the final boss of this DLC is going to be too big from. Look just like small gun, special order. Can I ride my horse here? Why not? Oh yeah, I had the baseball bat, I forgot about that. Facility has great potential for customization. Am I gonna run into anybody in here I can use to, uh... I, I can have customized that, because it's not better than that for now. that way. So these guys are particularly adept at avoiding attacks, I see. Just gonna make our enemies climbing, I don't think it works. Whip crack seems to work, well, not really. She is now level 14. Look at her go. Ah, Blackjack. Automatic 21 damage. Okay, so does that mean he's learned all the things from... Yeah, he has. I think he's learned everything else, though, is the thing. Yeah. As I Blackjack seems like a fairly useful one to have. Let's see if I can with that. Maybe replace Haymaker with it. Or Trip. I hardly ever use Trip. I mean, automatic 21 damage is nothing to sneeze at. stolen goods were in here. Just a gun that's only going to be any good to me after I um, upgrade. Gossip. Let's go ahead and use Blackjack, why not? It's interesting that the eagle has the leading trait, despite the fact that it doesn't have anybody here with it. Okay, a uh, blackjack looks like it's going to be particularly useful. Let's just keep using that. Most of the other attacks I do never seem to uh, do that much damage. Except it's not going to work now, because it's flying.
in the morning. <laughs> I earned his respect by ripping off its beak, apparently. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm really digging the blackjack attack though. <laughs> And Doc's too terrible to take. Great. I guess I'll just keep pumping it up. Let's get this thing in the garage. That's better. Back learn bribe, you can just toss money at everyone. Doc can make it rain. He's on fire! Flying, that's not going to work. Not that I really need so I could have it now. Well, maybe. I'm sure they're all just sleeping, right? <laughs> they're all just taking a nap. It's really warm up here. These men. They're all dead. No, no, they're taking a nap. They're fine. They're, they're, they're okay. It's a nice soft patch of ground and everything's cool. What happened here? Oh, it's Colonel Middleton. Ain't it obvious. This bitch and stash. Clearly, your vile Chapaqua companions must have slaughtered these guards and made off with the contents of this here wagon. 
These Indian friend, Indians friends of yours, Moon Dancer? Colonel Middleton, did you see what happened? No. News of this Indian attack spread quickly, so I came to investigate. Can't underestimate the Chapakwik these days. This... This cannot be. What is it? These Chapakwik. They bear the mark of the owl. These are the Chapakwik Braves of First Winter. Who's First Winter? First Winter is... First Winter is Chief Lionfrout's son, Moondancer's older brother. What was in the wagon? I sent a request, a good one, for additional armaments and weaponry for Fort Chattahassee. Judging by the amount of guards that were protecting this wagon, I reckon this was that cargo. Ain't nothing left inside, though. Those Indians must have made off with every last firearm. You mean weapons that would be used against the Chapakwik? I can't believe my brother would attempt to seize such weapons to keep them from harming my people. But I do not understand why he would kill these men in order to maintain peace. First Winter can be a hot, be hot-headed and brash like a wild bull, but he would not kill a man in his way. Clearly, you underestimate the violent tendency as your brother in Moon Dancer. Your brother must have killed these men, and witnesses say he and his gang took off into the caves. I plan on rooting them out and seeing they're held accountable for this heinous act. No. No need to do that. I will find my brother. It is Chapakwik custom that the actions of a family member are reflected on the family. I will see that First Winter pays for his crimes. Besides, no one outside my tribe will possess the knowledge to track down First Winter. It must be me. If that is your way, then I'll allow you a chance to search for your brother first. But if you don't turn him over to me, then I'll hold you and all the Chapakwik accountable for these killings. How come you can ride your horse up here, but I can't? Oh my god, he vanished. He was a ghost all along! He's one of these dead men! Witnesses to say they saw some Indians run off into the caves. Do what you can to find first run. But if you don't return with your brother soon, I'm sending my own men inside after him. And after you. Okay, there it is. Hey, dog! I'm not sure what you're planning to do next, but count me in! in here somewhere. Ouch. That hurt like a son of a bitch. Certainly, a pretty uh, weak there too. Now, give her up. All the time. Well, that thing's dead. He's dead, Jim.
Apparently Moon was bruised, I didn't even realize. I don't even know what that does. Something nasty, no doubt. Hi? Oh, you're not friendly. I'm being attacked by a brave and an eagle. How about that? Oh crap, the kid is pretty close to death, I didn't even realize that. And he's asleep. Oh yeah, he's still asleep. How much you can do like that? I forgot to hit so many times too. Why is he not awake yet? Jerk. Bad. Don't use Lunar Crush. Kill Rosie. Kill Doc. The love of God, God, kid, do something. Oh, geez, kill yourself. Nope, it's flying. Wait, he's lost his gun? How did he lose his gun? Oh, he must have been disarmed. Somehow. This guy's coming back. Good. See, the, the, the battles go by so quickly, sometimes I just straight up miss whatever's happening. flees into the caves. So I'm just going to be chasing them around, them around the mountain, apparently, according to this. Just keep beating them until they run away. It's like quite the maze of caves. Uh, he reveals himself from the shadows. At the moment it's hard to say which of these is more dangerous, the brave or the cat. Both are probably pretty dangerous. Let's be real here. And Doc's paralyzed. Perfect. That's a good start. Oh 
crap. For her, her a whole lot more. He's down, at least. Oh yes, the whip itself that causes fears. I forgot that I think it's an enchantment or something I have to catch it. I'm calling it an enchantment at this. Also, so many of these guys are just lying around in here dead, apparently. The cave is a strange place to find an eagle. Oh yeah, that's not good. Oh no, oh dear, oh dear. This is gonna be bad. I'm just gonna have to focus as much as I can on killing. Actually, no. I'm just gonna need to block survivability and straight up damage. Oh, he doesn't have his weapon on him now. Okay, that's good. That makes things a little bit easier for me anyway. Okay, I guess he's got his weapon back. Come on, Doc. Live. Live, dammit. <laughs> Moon's up. Just in time for the end of this. Oh, oh dear. Just in time to watch Doc fight him. No, leave me alone. You too. Hey, dog. I may as well fight this guy. Ah, these two pack are hesitant to fight me. Does that mean they'll let me go? That'd be nice. You want, want to help a brother out here? I'm not gonna leave me alone, this be real. Dude. Something happened. I think that. Oh dear. <laughs> Bootil Heroes has crashed unexpectedly. Well, I guess I'm starting back from the beginning of the caves. The killer of that is, I was that close to saving the game, too. The dog was right there. Uh, well, I gotta go through this again. Oh, 
Thankfully I wasn't too far behind from where I last saved it. I don't think I was anyway. Maybe I should switch all my actions to this thing over here, seeing how it's not countering at the moment. That guy's not countering anymore either. Aw, oh, jeez. Recover from bruise. Oh, I guess she must have uh, revived herself right there at the end. Let's investigate a different route this time. Blackjack on that one there. Yeah, that's better. Just surround and wail on that cat. Ah, oh, Oxford's. Patrick Oh, it's the same duo that uh, attacked me and caused the game to crash. Let's see what happens this time.
Wow. Wow. Took her out in one go that time. That's that's terrible. Jesus. Uh, let's just build up a garage. So no, not on him. That'd be a waste. So he doesn't have that much energy left. Of course, you could also do that. Like a jerk. I don't think I can actually hit him, though. No, I can't. I can't hit him because of the- oh crap. Um... Okay, I'm not gonna be able to hit him either because of the thing he's doing. Okay, I can hit him now. Acrobatics. Hey, she's up. Heal thyself. Oh crap, he's down. Um, oh. Looks like I may have a phone call. Hold on a second, folks. Give me a moment. Okay, sorry for the absence. It was a phone call I had to take. And where was I? Ah, yes. Everybody was dying, that's where I was. Oh, crap. Um, um, um. I mean, heal thyself. Also, what's. What's with Rosie's eyes there? Does she is she wearing like really bright shades? Um, like like are her eyelashes are really bright pink, same color as her hair. It's weird. It's kind of creepy. Anyway, okay, kid's just gonna keep using blackjack, and Moon is just going to keep healing. She's going to be in reserve for whenever healing is needed. Just till I get out of this combat, because man... I'm gonna actually do the archery thing so you can break the tumbling uh, thing. Was able to take him out herself anyway. Ah, oh, they run off to inform for first winter of my presence. I can't ride my horse here. That's a shame. Ah, oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Double team of these guys seems to be my uh, undoing usually. Oh, come on, Doc. Be a dude. Really heal him. Oh crap, he's got her. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Cancel that. Okay, 
may heal yourself, because oh god. Oh, ho, ho, no, that's not good. That is, though, I like that. Oh, he's confused, good. Dancing. I'm not sure what that does. He's doing the hatchet dance, because he's the hatchet. Now if I keep saying that for every one, every group of them I take out, eventually first winner is gonna have, like, Dozens of them coming in telling him it's like, you know, there's a bunch of guys beating the crap out of us tearing through the caves now. You might wanna you might wanna deal with that. Ow. Why would an eagle know something called Pulverize. Anyway, what's the deal with that? Legs anyway. Ooh. Doc needs a healing. And probably yourself, for that matter. Soon, that'd be nice. Also, why are there so many of the Braves already dead in here? That's interesting. Eh, yeah, let's leave that guy alone. See what's through door number one here. I get the feeling I've already been here. Effort. 
Oh no no no! Heal kid, heal kid now. Hooray! I set a man on fire. Hooray! That's what it is, never mind. Now I understand. With him, with him good. Hey, so somebody had to be gaining the level soon. Good lord, fought so many things. This is, yeah, that's the cave we have gone through before. Oh crap. And then the enemies respawn, because of course they did. That's what they do best. things up a bit. Less nuisance in my hair. Just wail on us. I get the feeling I'm running around in circles here. At least a little bit, anyway.
Okay, most of them are afraid, that's good. The thing says I'm a big man, like striking fear into the hearts of tiny creatures. Stick fort thing, which I think is going to stop me from hitting any of them. Not that guy, though. That guy's dead. Recovering from all our sort of wounds, that's good. I did not get away from the big cat and dog. Of course, Moon is still kind of bleeding, just not bleeding as badly. She's not gushing blood anymore so much as just, she's just sort of oozing it. Which is better, it's certainly a market improvement. back with vengeance. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how I got to the spot where the uh where I saw the dog and then the game crapped out on me. I think I've already gone by it. I need to go back. So is the kid for that matter. That kind of sucks.
some more fun. Hopefully I did not just go back the way I came. Why do you keep... Oh wait, no, I know why you keep attacking him, you're countering. And he used Barrage, meaning... Yeah, I should cancel that. i use on that thing instead. Actually, no. Actually, no, he can't do that because he's afraid again. Status effect. Great one is not used on you. Oh crap, I should have noticed he was going to tumble. Cancel the We all gain enough levels, it won't be as difficult wandering around this place. Getting attacked by everything under the sun. Oh look, it's this place again. Wow, that was actually a really powerful hit for that this time. Well, on these guys pretty good.
lost track of what I was doing there for a moment. Blackjack is of no uh, use to me right now, seeing as how I can't hit it, seeing as I was flying. Kind of pointless. So maybe it is this way I have to go. Oh, I get the feeling I've already been this way. Haven't I already been this way? Pretty sure. It's gonna be like that damn desert. I'm gonna get lost in here, aren't I? Certainly gain all kinds of levels in the way, that's nice. Why well, stacks of bone buster technique seem to be doing a lot more damage? I'm not complaining, it's just confusing that it's doing more damage now. Gaining a couple of levels might have something to do with that. Well, I'll just walk straight out of here and get attacked. That works too. Just some time, too, apparently. Okay, must heal her. Okay, must heal the kid. Good at all. Give me that. I don't know. I seem to have an issue. I appear to have a cat tangled up in my cords here. What is with a cat and attacking cords? Does anybody know? It's not just mine that does that, right? They're all a bunch of little jerks, that's what I'm getting from it, right? Ironic, seeing as how I'm fighting a cat just being a jerk.
Ah, there we go. Perfect. Save my game up here in the mountain. Now, am I allowed to save it there because I'm close to the end of this, or is there more? Because if I'm close to the end of it, I might just keep going. Yes! Okay, well, I'll see what's going on here. First winter. Sister, what are you doing here? Brother, you must stop this. No. Those men are dead and it is my fault. I must make right that which I have done. Please come with me. You are only making things worse between the white men and our people. I am sorry. I must finish what I have started. I will not allow anyone to stop me. Not even you, my sister. I cannot allow you to interfere. I think you gotta need to take out these other guys first. Hopefully I've gained enough in the way of level so that I can actually take the guys out. Oh dear. Oh dear, maybe not. Okay, that, that helps. That that does indeed help. That doesn't help, though. I don't think I'm going to win this. I really don't think I'm going to win this. Jeez, I'm surprised Doc isn't down yet. Nope, kid's down. Docks down. And the Purty was defeated. Well, how do you like that? Well, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to probably leave it off there for the night. I know it's not exactly the longest of streams, but... It's a lot more difficult for me to do a longer stream during the weeks... Dur during the weekdays, because I have to get up, go to work so early in the morning. That, and I'm thinking what I'm going to need to do here is I'm gonna have to rove around in the caves and just start level grinding so I'm strong enough to fight these guys. And... Let's face it, that's not going to be very interesting, so I'll just do that on my own. Thank you very much. So I think I'll leave that there for tonight. Um, I don't know if the next time, well, the next time I stream probably won't be till Friday. I don't know if I'll carry on with this or not. Like I said, in between, I'm going to be playing this just to level grind and stuff to get myself to a point where I can take on first winter. Um, but nah, nah, I've got a few other things I might do aside from this. I'm hoping to do a lot of streaming on Friday, like to do an extra long one. Maybe I'll do a little something at the start and then maybe do a pile of Zelda because that game is so large, it's going to take me a while to get through it. So I'd like one really, um, long session of playing it if I can. But that's, that's a decision for Friday. I'll figure out by then what I'm going to be doing next. Until that point, however, I, as always, thank you very much for stopping by, and I wish you a farewell and a good night. I shall see you folks next time. Ta-ta for now.